Hey there, friends. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm getting ready to record a spiritual almanac for Saturday, February 13th. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, it's winter here in the beautiful rolling hills of central New York. Um, it's probably winter where you are too. Uh, and it's that time of year when, I don't know, it's just hard to get motivated. So uh, hopefully we've got some stuff here for you today that's going to make you feel a little bit, a little bit more inspired and motivated. Uh, our inspiration for today comes from James Weldon Johnson, uh, an interesting writer, uh, civil rights worker. Um, the the piece that we're looking at is a poem of his. It's about silence and solitude. And it's, you know, hopefully it points you in a direction uh, for getting spiritually recharged during this, you know, dreary and gloomy kind of year, or time of year. Um, also, I have some spiritual nuggets for you today. Um, some interesting stuff. We're going to talk about the fall of Baghdad. We're going to talk about the trial of Galileo, uh, which uh, has a connection to today. Uh, and then we're also going to talk about the birthday of the talk show host, Jerry Springer. I know it seems weird, right, that we would be talking about Jerry Springer on this podcast, but um, it's going to make sense once we get there. Uh, he apparently has a spiritual side, so we're going to talk about that. Um, let me get set up. And let's just start the podcast, all right? Welcome to a spiritual almanac. It's Saturday, February 13th, 2021. James Weldon Johnson started working for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in 1917. He was the first African-American person to serve as the organization's executive secretary. But one of his most important contributions to the NAACP may have been something he did before he started working there. Seventeen years earlier, Johnson wrote a poem titled Lift Every Voice and Sing, which his brother set to music. The lyrics evoked the biblical exodus from slavery to God's promised land, and in 1919, the NAACP adopted the song as the Black National Anthem. For our inspiration today, we're looking at another of Johnson's poems. In this piece, Johnson invites us to seek God in silence and solitude and nature. It's titled, Deep in the Quiet Wood. Are you bowed down in heart? Do you but hear the clashing discords and the din of life? Then come away, come to the peaceful wood. Here, bathe your soul in silence. Listen, now from out of the palpitating solitude do you not catch, yet faint, elusive strains? They are above, around, within you, everywhere. Silently listen. Clear and still more clear they come. They bubble up in rippling notes and swell in singing tones. Now let your soul run the whole gamut of the wondrous scale until, responsive to the tonic chord, it touches the diapason of God's grand cathedral organ, filling earth for you with heavenly peace and holy harmonies. More nuggets for today. On this day in 1258, the city of Baghdad fell to the Mongols, ending the Golden Age of Islam. At the time, Baghdad was the capital of the Abbasid Caliphate. The Mongols began their siege on January 20th and within two weeks seized a sizable portion of the city. Although the Caliph and others attempted to negotiate with the Mongols, they were unsuccessful and were forced to surrender the city. The Mongols entered Baghdad on February 13th and initiated a week-long massacre of its residents. And on this day in 1633, the Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei arrived in Rome to defend his assertion that the Earth revolves around the Sun. Galileo was summoned to trial by the chief inquisitor appointed by Pope Urban VIII. The charges stemmed from the church's misguided view that the sun's revolution around the earth was absolute biblical fact, even though Galileo and other scientists 
had known for centuries that the Earth was not the center of the universe. Galileo never stood a chance. The Inquisition found him guilty of the crime of heresy, and he spent the rest of his life under house arrest. It would take another 300 years for the church to admit it was wrong and clear Galileo's name. And today is also the birthday of the former politician and talk show host Jerry Springer in 1944. Springer was born in a bomb shelter, a London underground train station used to protect the public from German bombs during World War II. His parents were Jewish refugees who had escaped from Poland, and many of his relatives died in Nazi concentration camps. When Springer was six years old, his family left England and emigrated to the U.S., settling in Queens, New York. Although he's best known for his role as the host of the tabloid talk show that carried his name, Springer apparently has a spiritual side. His Jewish heritage remains important to him, but his spiritual sensibilities extend beyond Judaism. Speaking about his spirituality, Springer said, I believe in God because someone created this wonderful thing I experience every day. And under any moral code, you say thank you. My parents happen to be Jewish, so I use Jewish traditions to thank whoever is responsible for it. If I was born to Catholic parents, I would use the Catholic tradition. So I'm not saying Jews have the answer more than Catholics. I just don't know. Finally, today's words of wisdom come to us from the writer and theologian Khalil Gibran. He said, I slept, and I dreamed that life is all joy. I woke and I saw that life is all service. I served, and I saw that service is joy. I hope you're able to find some joy in your service today, and that's today's Spiritual Almanac. For additional readings, see God's Trombones, Seven Negro Sermons in Verse by James Weldon Johnson. There's a link in the description and on our website. A Spiritual Almanac is a production of Granola Soul. Check out the text version of today's episode, James Weldon Johnson's poem, Deep in the Quiet Woods, and other resources at our website, granolasoul.com. Thanks for listening. If you heard something that inspired you today, go ahead and give us a share or like. Until next time, be kind, take good care, and I'll see you soon.